Time for a tall tale short. Bathed in the last rays of the setting sun, Camp Solstice nestled comfortably at the foot of a hill, the tops of its green hedges reaching towards the twilit sky. Those hedges, mysteriously and meticulously arranged, formed the most fascinating feature of the camp, the Solstice Maze. On the first day, an eclectic bunch of youngsters gathered, eyes wide and hearts pulsing with anticipation. Among them was Alex, a quiet boy with a mind sharp as a tack, and eyes that missed no detail. He was drawn to the camp, not for the games or the campfires, but for the enchanting labyrinth that held promises of adventure and mystery. No one's ever reached the centre, whispered Rosie, a redhead with a smattering of freckles and a knack for storytelling. They say a fabulous prize awaits whoever finds it, a hidden chamber filled with who knows what. Alex, normally reserved, couldn't help but lean in, curiosity alight in his eyes. He unpacked his compass and map, symbols of his love for navigation and riddles, and decided then he would unravel the secret of the solstice maze. In the days that followed, the camp pulsated with the typical thrum of activities, canoeing on the lake, roasting marshmallows over crackling fires, ghost stories under starlit skies. But the maze, with its unspoken promise, was a magnetic pull they couldn't resist. A few days later, during a seemingly ordinary walk past the maze, Alex noticed something peculiar. The twigs under his sneakers crunched a bit too rhythmically, too deliberately, like a coded message. His heart pounded. Could this be a clue? He summoned his friends. Listen, he instructed, stepping on the twigs in sequence. Crunch, 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 crunch. It echoed like a hushed Morse code of the forest. Rosie, ever the storyteller, was the first to grasp it. It's a pattern! Two short, one long, one short! Armed with this newfound revelation, they rushed to their map. After hours of decoding, they made a breakthrough. The rhythmic crunches were not random. They correlated to turns within the labyrinth. Left, left, right, left. A secret route hidden in plain sight. They ventured back to the maze the next day, following the rhythmic crunch code. They navigated through the labyrinth's leafy arteries, their hearts echoing the thrill of the maze. Just as the sun began its descent, they discovered a wall covered in intricate carvings. Symbols. Another riddle to solve. Another secret to unveil. Little did they know that this was just the beginning of their grand adventure. But for now, they had to return to their cabins. After a restless night of excitement, the crew set out at first light to the maze. Alex, Rosie and their friends stood before the carved wall, eyes gleaming with determination. The symbols were an enigma, ancient, complex and exciting. They mirrored them onto their map, each line etched with the precision of a calligrapher and the eagerness of a treasure hunter. Back at the camp, under the flickering lantern light, they pored over the carved symbols, connecting them with pieces of the camp's lore shared over crackling fires and whispered under the canvas of the night sky. The silence in the room was palpable, broken only by their hushed whispers and the rustle of the map. Rosie's eyes widened as realization dawned. Look! she exclaimed, pointing at the map. These symbols, they match the constellations we learned about in our stargazing activity. Indeed, the symbols bore a striking resemblance to the summer triangle, a trio of stars that dominated the season's night sky. Excitement bubbled within them. They had decoded the second riddle. They ventured back into the maze the following day. Guided by the stars, the children navigated through the maze, the summer triangle reflected in the confident strides they took. Left at Deneb, straight past Vega, right at Altair. A gasp echoed as they found themselves at a dead end, a towering hedge wall before them. But Alex, peering closer, noticed the faint outline of a door, cleverly hidden. His heart pounded like a drum as he pushed it open, revealing a hidden passage draped in shadows. A flicker of torchlight illuminated the hidden chamber, revealing not a treasure trove, but an expansive mural on the stone wall. The illustration was ancient, depicting children much like themselves, 
navigating through the maze, uncovering secrets. The last section of the mural, however, was oddly bare, waiting for a story yet to unfold. As they observed in awe, Alex's fingers brushed against an etching on the mural that felt oddly fresh. It was a message, engraved in the ancient stone but bearing the familiar scrawl of Rosie. The maze is not done with us yet. Simultaneously, they realized Rosie was missing. Rosie, they called, their voices echoing through the labyrinth. No response came, only the whispers of the leaves. A sense of dread washed over them as they rushed back through the maze, calling for their friend. The setting sun painted the horizon with hues of anxiety and suspense, casting long shadows that seemed to conceal countless mysteries. As they reached the camp, a piece of paper marked by Rosie's distinct handwriting awaited them. More secrets await. See you at dawn, it read. That night the campfire crackled under a suspense-filled sky. Rosie's sudden disappearance, the unfinished mural, the cryptic note, it all pointed towards an intriguing enigma yet to be unravelled. In the heart of the camp, the solstice maze stood silent, its towering hedges whispering tales of secrets untold and adventures yet to be had. As the moon bathed it in a soft glow, the labyrinth waited patient and enigmatic, ready to welcome the dawn of a new mystery. This was a tall tale short, small but mighty stories, released daily in audio format. Create, read, and share more tales at talltale.com.